All right. So, SCP-173 Christmas Eve Spectacular. It was Christmas Eve at Site-19. Christmas trees entered the foyers. Wreaths and ribbon decorated the halls. And a lone menorah sat in the center of the cafeteria so that researcher Polanski wouldn't throw a hissy fit. Hell, even 682 only killed three people that day as his gift to the Foundation. Everything seemed just fine. That is, except for one lone soul, SCP-173. 173 had seen many Christmas Eves come and go at Site-19. Many usually dull. The only people 173 saw were the usual batch of D-Class doing their cleaning duties. Of course, he would always try to give them their Christmas hugs, which they would always fall head over heels for. They would even leak love juices from time to time. It was a small gesture, but it was warming to 173's heart that his effort was appreciated, going these links just for him. However, this Christmas Eve felt underwhelming, to say the least. So far, the D-Class who would usually come to clean his cell were nowhere to be seen. Usually, they would have sent in the D-Class by now, but it was already two o'clock, as shown on his painted-on watch. <laughs> 173 began to worry, scraping along the sides of the room in an attempt to come up with possible scenarios. Some theories ranged from possibly being at, one, at 6A2 cell to the E-Class being with their families. While it was within the realm of the possibility that there was no scheduled cleaning of his cell for that day, 173 knew in his heart that it couldn't possibly be that simple. As he was just about to concoct another theory, the lights turned off and the door to his cell were opened. 173 was delighted, as walks around the facility were rare occurrences. During these walks, he would pretend that he was walking on the beach for hours at a time, soaking up the sunlight like no tomorrow, with a pretty girl at his side. Of course, 173 decided to take the opportunity by the neck and headed off into another room. As 173 began his stroll through the halls of Site-19, 173 realized he had gained some weight, so he decided to go on a small jog instead. He had put off his New Year's resolutions this long, never really getting the chance to get this kind of exercise in. During his jog, he saw something peculiar, a room with a light on. During these walks, all the lights would be off, presumably to let the researchers get some sleep. However, the door to the room was somewhat open, and he could hear noises coming from the room. Deciding to put off his jog, he approached the room, growing louder and louder. As he opened the door, he saw researchers, janitors, and security guards give a hearty scream of joy at his arrival. The room itself was filled with the usual Christmas decoration fair, along with many presents gifted to 173. As shown by his lifeless face, he was, over joy he was overflowing with joy. Of course, the first gift 173 received was becoming the grand champion of the staring contest that they were having. It was easy for 173, of course, since his eyelids were non-existent. In fact, it got to the point where their eyelids got tired, and they announced when they were going to blink. He thought they were weirdos, but loved them for that reason. After the festivities, including the presentation of presents and eating a lot, it was his cheat day, he wanted to give everyone a hug. There was a problem with that, however. He went... He has never hugged this many people at once, so he felt fairly awkward trying to hug even one person, as there were at least 20 more people watching. But as his problems, but as if his problems were being telepathically analyzed by the gods, the lights within the room went off. Perfect. During this time, 173 hugged everyone in the room, everyone giving at least some love juice to him. A few minutes after the party ended, the guards came in with the cart, or as he liked to imagine it as, his bright red Ferrari. As 173 was being carted down to his cell, he reminisced about everything that had happened that day. The presents, the cheering, the hugs. It was more than anything he could have imagined. It showed him that the Foundation really did care for him, even if it was minimalistic most of the time. It showed 173 that, despite not knowing emotion, Despite not showing emotion, those close to you will always appreciate you. In short, he was happy. Ah, oh, 173 is so cute! 173chan, I call him in this one. Oh my god, he's so good. Everyone needs a hug. A big, fat, happy 173 hug for all of you.